then he goes to present the surface area of a sphere. The surface of a sphere is not a Euclidean surface, it is not a flat surface. So, you move from Euclidean to a non Euclidean surface. So, computing the area of a non Euclidean surface is not a trivial thing. He says that you have to simply multiply this by 4 to get the surface area of a sphere. So, how does he say? Kshunnam vedaihi. Kshunnam means multiply. Vedaihi by 4. Kshunnam vedaihi. What does this give you? Upari paritaha. See, on the surface, paritaha completely. How do you visualize this? He gives a very beautiful simile in order to get a feel for it. And this simile actually gives you a clue as to how he has visualized this surface to get the total area. Kanduka seva jalam. See, this is a simile. So, kanduka is a ball. Jala is basically a kind of net on that. So, what is the kind of net that he visualizes? So, if you think of the earth today, so the way we visualize the earth is almost a sphere, okay. So, though it is slightly deformed, but it is more or less a sphere. And on the sphere, in order to specify the location, we use latitude and longitude. So, if you visualize various longitudinal circles and various latitudinal circles, then you will see as if a net has been placed on the surface of a sphere. Once you have this in your mind, then if you are able to break up the surface into small areas which have been created by this net, if you compute the area of this net, small areas, so then the total area of the sphere can be obtained by you. So, this is what essentially Bhaskara has done. This is a very beautiful uh, way in which one can compute the surface area of a sphere instead of so trying to integrate. So, this is essentially that, but not presented uh, that way, but presented in a slightly different way, which can be very easily appreciated and done by um, even primary school students. So, because at that level, so you know to essentially to find out the area by multiplying two sides, etcetera. So, we are taught the area of rectangle, we are taught the area of trapezia and so on. If you actually visualize it this particular way starting from the equator, so what you will have is basically various trapezia. So, if you compute the area of these trapezia, so you know the base, you know the other uh, base, so base and face and then the two sides are almost same. So, you will be able to compute this area and then you go on. So, finally, as you move from the equator to the top, so what you will have is finally ending in a triangle. So, you know how to find the area of a triangle, you know how to find the area of a trapezia and then you will simply get the total area of the sphere. So, this is what he has in his mind when he is saying kanduka seva jalam. Then he says golasyevam tadapicha phalam prishtajam tadapicha phalam. So, that area the value that you have already obtained for the surface and uh, how can you make an estimate that it is simply pi r square? See, it is uh, interesting, right? So, you see that the area of a circle is uh, pi r square and uh, that value you should simply multiply by 4 that should give you the surface area. So, there also he gives some nice simile and these things have been explained by Bhaskara though not in Leelavati in great detail in Siddhanta Shiromani. Okay? So, that is another uh, remarkable work which uh, Bhaskara has done. So, which has to do essentially with the astronomy, astronomy part. So, there, so while describing the features of earth, so he says it is spherical and how to find area and so on. So, in that context, he gives how he derives this, he gives very nice derivations. Kanduka seva jalam, then golasyevam tadapicha phalam, prishtajam, prishtajam which is obtained on the surface, vyasa nighnam, vyasa nighnam is multiplied by the diameter. And then Shadbhir Bhaktam, see you have to divide by 6, Shadbhir Bhaktam, 
bhavati niyatam gola garbhe gola garbhe means that which is impregnated inside the sphere ghanakhyam ghanakhyam means volume so the word that they use for volume is ghana ghana phalam so this is a very beautiful verse which actually gives you all the three formulae and at the moment this verse is memorized so it is there with you forever 